This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. The Christmas holiday season always involves a lot of last minute activities. Packing, getting to the airport, mailing out letters and packages, and of course, buying gifts. And while we might not be able to get you to the airport faster and make the post office lines any less vicious, we do have some handy recommendations for last minute gift buying. Hey, so here are the top five last minute gift ideas for you procrastinating elves out there, and these are of course in no particular order. Now, some of my favorite nerd gifts that won't break the budget include an LED flashlight. We're talking long battery life and good brightness out of these. And in particular, I, I have a, just a, a, an awesome love for this, this $6 flashlight. And this one happens to be available in three uh, as a three mode unit where you can have a, a high, a medium, and a strobe mode as well. So you can even preserve battery life that way. And it's just, uh, a little more useful. And it's funny, right? Because uh, what Robert just showed you is on uh, the Amazon uh, you know, website. And if you look at it, it's like Saturday the 21st is the last day, I think, for free two-day shipping, Monday the 23rd, Tuesday the 24th. So if you are past this stage and you can't get uh, your device delivered, another place to find really nice, inexpensive LED flashlights is your local hardware store. Almost every hardware store in the Bay Area now and a bunch of places I've traveled recently, they have these racks of really well-made, inexpensive LED flashlights right next to the counter. So if there's a hardware store near you, there's a bunch of gift ideas. But you had a couple other ones on your list. Totally. Uh, one thing, too, if everyone has a cell phone or a smart device nowadays, and if they're not rolling with a decent case, one of my favorite is just from a company called Incipio. They make every, I'm sure there are other stronger cases. If you're looking for something waterproof or dustproof, this probably isn't it. But if you're looking for something just to protect the outside and, and stay out of the way, Actually, I depend on this for my Galaxy S3 because I find the darn phone is just too thin and slippery. And this little bit of a case just gives it enough extra grip and protection, uh, and it's easily replaceable. And again, it's affordable. I, I was actually shocked it was only five bucks now with the shipping, but I've actually cracked this one a couple times from, I've cracked this one a couple times just dropping it. And it's, it's nice to know that this thing cracked and took a good beating uh, before my phone did. And the other nice thing is they do, of course, make more beefy models that include a softer material inside with the hard exterior shell. There are a lot of companies out there that make cases. I just have to say that Incipio tends to make ones that fit really well and mm -hmm. just stay out of the way like I really hope them to. And I think every nerd deserves a pair of digital calipers out there. Uh, measure all the things, period. <laughs> you can spend hundreds of dollars on a pro pair of calipers that, that zero properly and do everything. However, for under 20 bucks, and sometimes even less than that, you can get a good quality pair of calipers that you'd be surprised how often a, a quick measurement can save you some time. Mm -hmm. Like, rather than take a part that's easy, they're hard to remove, just measure it real quick. Like, I was dealing with uh, fasteners, and I needed, I needed a one and eight inch bolt to go on the end of this, and so I just measured the head real quick, ran down to the store with the calipers, measured the one I needed, and guess what, it fit just right. They're also easy to use, including things like uh, a depth gauge or just measuring width or, like I said, object measurement too. And it's, it's a simple nerd gift and it's one of those things you might not think of, but uh, I, think, I think one of those should be in every utility drawer in every home. They're so, so good and they're so inexpensive now. Yeah. Uh, brands you've never heard of, Frankfurt Arsenal, brands you have heard of, it's all pretty much the same Chinese manufactured digital calipers. I'd rather have a US made product, yada, 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 but definitely, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I wouldn't, money. if you depend on measurements for a living, you probably <laughs> want to step it up with something yeah. a little more quality than that. But like I said, uh, quality digital calipers out there now for well under 20 bucks, and in some cases closer to 10. Um, Almost every town in the United States, I feel, has, or if not in your town, it's near your town, a Radio Shack. Uh, if your geek doesn't have one, get them a digital multimeter. They have an amazing selection here. Don't get the analog multimeters. Those are delightfully old school. Get something like this, the 15-range digital multimeter. You can use it to test voltage output from batteries. You can check. It's just an unbelievably useful tool, and it's kind of one of those stepping stones. Like, you get a multimeter, and all of a sudden, your geekery can get really out of control. You start to um, discover a lot of things extra you can do with it, like testing for content continuity or cut a speaker wire, you know, you've cut your length of speaker wires. I use the ohm reading to do a resistance check on them, make sure they're similar uh, in terms of make sure there, there isn't a break somewhere in that feed of cable yeah. I'm about to lay down. Among the various <laughs> hundreds of other things you can do with that too. So I'd also like to point out the Radio Shack's really geeked back up again in the last year or two. You know, cool. the, the parts section looks smaller, but it's much better organized. Um, they stock Arduino kits in Radio Shack now, and along with like the 1001 uh, electronics kits that I'll be buying my son, but they have Arduino boxes and boards uh, in our local Radio Shack. And um, Man, I didn't even think about saying a Raspberry Pi, but there's another gift too that the, the budding programmer or coder out there, or somebody who's just curious about how computers work, having, having, a, having a, 
a low-cost computing platform that you can install cool free software on, including Minecraft, which I think can get any kid excited. Uh, everything from learning about terminal uh, access to a computer to yeah. basic programming to just simply, hey, what if I connect X wire here and Z wire here? Will it even turn on? It, it can be very basic to very complex, and 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 it's just fun. And uh, I love the Raspberry Pi and. Arduino too. Yeah, and the Electronics Learning Lab, this was like, I lived with this thing, but I think from the age of six or seven until 12. Um, it was an earlier version of it, but the one they do now acts as this incredible breadboarding system built in. They still have the springs, uh, and it has a big old bag of parts that allow you to actually build actual functioning circuits. Um, flash memory, thumb drives, there's probably a lot of photos and videos being shot during the holidays, and chances are people are gonna need extra flash memory. Great deals in those in Costco's, great deals in those at frickin' two in the morning at your local drugstore. Uh, <laughs> and if there's only one photographer in the family, you're gonna need thumb drives to copy their photos and videos around so everyone can get a copy of them uh, at home. There's online services, but honestly, it's so much quicker with a thumb drive and fewer tech support issues. Most definitely, and speaking of tech support help, if there's one thing a family member will appreciate, it is a hand with their home theater, TV, or their PC, or their Android, tablet, iPhone, etc. So maybe this season you could give the gift of tech support for that friend or person. Uh, basically, think about maybe clearing their PCs that you know are filled with things like viruses and spyware and other crap and get it <laughs> running like new again. And install something like TeamViewer that we showed you a week or two ago. Or sign up for a service like Go to My PC so that you can do remote tech support when you're back home. And if you really like them, offer the do them up a fresh install of their favorite OS of choice. There is no better way to deal with a totally cruffed up PC than to just blow it out and start clean, but hopefully that will encourage you to get them to back it up. And the thumb drive, again, for doing backups, put a folder on the desktop, start copying all the important stuff into there, copying the important stuff, <laughs> and then dump that folder to a thumb drive. Yeah. That's how you back up quick. Um, hardware store, invaluable resource for finding last minute geek gifts. Uh, I've, I think I've never gotten any more questions than about some screwdrivers. Weeha is, is oh, yeah. in a lot of the finer uh, uh, hardware stores, and especially people love their insulated screwdrivers. I've gotten more questions about the, anytime we do we show these on, <laughs> on air, I get a whole giant pile of questions about them. They make a ton of really amazing driving tools. Um, really inexpensive, Husky, which is Home Depot's house brand for tools. They're eight in one Phillips and slotted screwdriver set. They also have a little tiny one for Torx. That is one of the best precision screwdrivers I've used for the money. Um, and then uh, Channel Lock is available just about everywhere. They're US manufacturer. They make absolutely fantastic tools. You could buy somebody a couple pair of pliers and really sort of give them a decent set of like wire strippers, Lyman's pliers, um, long nose pliers. Um, they're multi-bit screwdrivers. These are just fantastically well-made, US-made tools that will last forever. And if you got somebody that's kind of like super, I'm a prepper, I want to be emergency prepared, the rescue tool is really cool because they have a big old cable cutter you can use to cut battery oh, yeah. cables or power cables. Um, you can, you know, shut down the gas on a house. You can open up uh, the, the, the uh, what do we call those things with the plugs and the water in the ground? Fire hydrants. <laughs> do you Language really is hard. Um, no. You know, the rescue tool and their tools are really well made to pretty much last forever. Finally, one last thought, rechargeable batteries. Um, there's always shortages over the holidays for battery power. You know, it's so tempting to buy a giant brick of alkalines from the big box store. Get rechargeable ones instead. They come, you know, from AAA to D's. Uh, what you're looking at right now is uh, Sanyo's webpage for n -loop batteries. They are definitely our favorite source right now uh, for rechargeable batteries. Uh, you know, and if you're worried about D cells, they do uh, these crazy D cell spacers. Essentially, they're adapters that make uh, the AA batteries fit inside of D cell or C cell slots. Now That's they're going to be 2,500 idea. milliamp and not like 10,000 milliamp, but you got to make trade off somewhere. That is not a bad trade off though. 2,500 milliamps will last a good long time, especially in things like game controllers or even <laughs> remote controls in your home theater setup. Uh, there's just so many uses where you don't need to use throwaway alkaline batteries. Mm -hmm. So. That's a great idea. And also, for your AV setups, HDMI cables. Yes, they might see they they pretty much do come with a lot of gear nowadays. But having an extra one around or three might help Aunt Gertrude plug in her Roku box and her new PS3 or PS4 into her new AV receiver and basically out the back of the HD TV she scored on Black Friday. Now you think that's like you can do anything from like audio cables, speaker cables, power cores if they really need something like that. But good sources for those kind of materials, check out places like monoprice.com and order up a stack of them. Also, uh, Amazon and your other favorite online retailers will also uh, serve up cabling like that as well. And the rule of thumb I always go by for HDMI cables <laughs> is pay about a buck a foot. And if it's a really fancy cable or super thin, maybe two bucks a foot, but no more than that.
Is it really, really last minute? Online services, give the gift of backup. Buy them several years over at crashplan.com or carbonite.com. They are both occasionally sponsors of the show. They're both awesome services that allow, you know, your house goes flat, everything's still gonna be there on Carbonite or Crashplan because they serve offsite. It's a, it's a, just a nice bit of insurance. Um, Dropbox, Netflix, uh, netflix.com totally. slash techzilla. Domain.com, use that code techzilla. <laughs> Voodoo, Pandora One if they're an audio fanatic. Or if they're into learning, lynda.com. Yeah. Another sponsor of the show, but a good place just to pick up some, some skills you may need to get ahead in this world. So that's, that's something I think we can all use. Hopefully somewhere in there you found something for the last minute geek on your shopping list or the last minute shopping list for your geek. Let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com. The site provides one-stop shopping for all of your domain name and web hosting needs. These guys are awesome. Domain.com's simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options, making it easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. And Domain.com's easy checkout smooths the process, erases the hassle, and keeps you from saying, huh, how does this thing work? The folks at Domain.com are hooking you up at checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA for 20% off of your purchase, and that's an amazing offer.